so there are a bunch of different ways to blur some part of the image or a photo on your iPhone. It all depends on whether you want to blur the background of the photo or if you want to blur just some random portion of the picture because you want to hide something. Anyways, let's get into the video right now. So if you want to blur just the background of a photo, the best way is to do it right in the camera, right when you're taking that photo. So in your camera app, you'll just need to swipe to the portrait section. You can see it right here at the bottom of the page. So swipe to get to it, and there you can see a different user interface. Also keep in mind that not every single device out there, not every iPhone actually supports this feature. The best way to find out is by going to the camera app and seeing if there is the portrait button inside the slider app right there. But all of the latest models support it, so chances are that yours will too. So now just snap a photo with the portrait mode and the camera will automatically blur out the background for you. You should also pay attention to the instructions you receive from the camera because it can tell you to move closer or further away from the subject. But the way it's blurred isn't really the final product or it doesn't have to be. Because if you come back to the Photos app, you'll be able to see your photo, but when you decide to edit that image, you have, again, a bunch of different options. At the top of the page, you can see the Portrait button, which will blur or unblur the image with a click of a button. Or next to it, there is also the Aperture slider. This will allow you to click it and slide to adjust the amount of blur added to the image, so this is a really nice way to customize it and make it look however you want, even in the post-production. So the next option is to blur some specific portion of a picture. For this, I like to use an app from the App Store. You can do something similar even using the built-in gallery app, which I'll show you later in the video. Anyways, you can go ahead and download this app or even some other ones from the App Store, but I quite like this one right here. So you just open it up. It may show you an ad occasionally, but generally speaking, this app works fine. You can just tap the blur icon and pick from your photos inside the gallery. And what you can do inside the app is to just use your finger like that and, and drag around the image to blur out some parts of it. You also have the unblur button or the unblur brush, so it's easy to reverse the process if you're not happy about it. And perhaps even start over. Once you're done, just export the image back to your gallery and you're pretty much done with it. You can now share the image to others and your personal information or whatever you wanted to blur won't be visible to other people. If you don't want to use third-party apps, however, you can still use the built-in gallery application. The only problem or downside to it is that you don't really have the blur tool in this app. What you have, however, are many different brushes and coloring options. So now you just locate any picture, and when you enter the edit mode by clicking on the edit button, you'll see the same section that we already used to like edit the blur intensity for portrait photos. But there is also the pencil icon, um, in the upper right corner, it's the markup button. When you click on it, you'll get to a completely different section and you'll be able to use all these brushes here at the bottom to cover up any part of the image. So just pick, for example, the first one. Choose the color. It can be anything because all the colors will cover the image. But what's important though is setting the opacity of the brush to 100%. That is, if you want to cover or hide some sensitive information. If not, then of course use whatever opacity you want and play around with this feature. I'd say it is pretty useful, but it's not exactly the blur tool, so it's a bit different actually. There are also some things you should know about this topic. When blurring a photo on an iPhone, it's important to consider the composition of the image. While blurring the background can draw attention to the subject, it's still essential to ensure that the subject is in focus and that the overall composition of the photo is balanced. A distracting or poorly composed image, even when blurred, may not achieve the desired effect. Also, it's important to keep in mind that too much blur can result in a loss of quality. To avoid this, it's recommended to use high quality images and to experiment with different levels of blur until you find the right balance between too much and too little blur. This will help you achieve a natural looking effect that enhances the subject of your photo. Anyways, this would be pretty much everything what I wanted to say about it. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit that like button, but also make sure you are subscribed to the Foxtech YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching until the end, and I'll catch you guys in the future. Peace.